second. So we're going to check to see if you solve this equation correctly. Use the poem to tell you what to do next. Solve the equation. 66 minus 39. So we're going to use the poem to help us. We also have the pictures of the houses behind us to help us too. So remember, this is our house. I'm going to grab red. I feel like red shows up pretty good. So it says more on top. No need to stop. So let's check. So on top is right here where we're trying to see. And there's definitely more on the floor because 9 is bigger than 6. So that means no need to stop doesn't work for this part. So we need to do the second part of our poem, more on the floor. Go next door. Okay, so we're going to go next door. We're going to cross out the 6, and we're going to get 10 more. And we know that 6 is actually 6 10 sticks. We're going to take one of those 10 sticks and move it over back to our house. So now there's 5 10 sticks instead of 6. And instead of the number 16, we're adding, or 6, we're adding a 10 stick to it, which turns it into the number 16. And the easy shortcut to do that is just to add a 1 in front of whatever that number is that's on the top floor of our house. Then we can do 16 subtract 9, because before we had 6 subtract 9. You can't take away 9 from 6. You can take away 1, you can take away 2, you can take away 3, 4, 5, and 6. You can even take away 0 if you want to. But you can't take away 9, there's not enough. But now I have 16, I can take away 9. So then this is where you make your decision. Do you want to count in your brain how to do 16 subtract 9? Do you draw a picture? That's whatever strategy that you want to use. But 16 subtract 9 is 7. And then 5 minus 3 is 2. And that one's easy. You can do with your hands. 5 minus 2 is 1, 2, 3. So your answer is 37. So hopefully you got that right. And if you didn't, you saw maybe where you made a mistake and you can fix it on the next equation that you do. Bye, guys. I'll see you in a second.